Today's video is going to be a book haul of the books that I've accumulated from the past couple of months and I'm doing like book hauls more regularly instead of having like once every, I don't know, and then having so many books because I can't handle that. So I'm gonna be doing them more often and showing a less amount of books because I can't handle when there's too much books to show. But I don't know how many books this is. I have a list, but let's just get started. This are these are the books that I've bought over the last couple of months. The first book I'm gonna talk about is a manga that I haven't read yet, so I don't know a lot about it, but it's very well spoken of, and I think a lot of you guys have heard of it, and that is Death Note, and this is volume one. And it's a very cool looking manga, very aesthetically pleasing, and the art style is very, very cool. And I, it was been a while since I read a manga, but I really want to get more into it. And this is a thriller manga, I believe, or a horror even. And I have never read a manga like that, so I'm very excited. But I don't know too much about it. I know it's about a student who finds this death note that's been left by a death god. And that sounds very intriguing. But it's very, very high, well spoken of. And a lot of people have read it and really, really liked it. And there's more, more volumes and... I'm very excited. I might actually get to this soon because I haven't read manga in a while and I'm really want to. So the next book I got is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas, and I gave this four stars. I have read this actually, and I did enjoy it, but it was a little bit boring and a little bit slow paced. I don't know. I liked it, but not loved it. And I've heard it gets better, so I'm excited about that. But yeah, this is the first book in a series, and. It's very popular, obviously, and I'm late to the party as always, but I give these four stars. I'm not a big fan of Tamlin and Faerie together, and that's what we have in this book, basically, but yeah. Four out of five stars, and yeah, it was okay, but I didn't love it. And on the same note, I also got A Court of Mist and Fury, which is the second book, and I'm reading this as we speak. I have like... 50 pages left and I'm really really enjoying it. I'm filming a reading vlog and I'm talking about this one But I'm really really loving it. It's so much better than the first one in my opinion. I like this relationship more and Even this is so much bigger so you would think it was like more boring or slow paced But I'm really really loving it and I'm leading towards a five star actually But yeah, this is so much better in my opinion and I can't wait to read all of the other books I need to order them so that they can come in soon but yeah, this is so much better than A Court of Thorns and Roses in my opinion, and I know a lot of people agree with me, but yeah. The next book I got is Legendborn by Tracy Dion, and if you want a more like in-depth re review of this or my thoughts, go watch my reading vlog because I vlogged the week I read this. But this is basically about, this is about Brie who goes to this new school, and there she, she discovers a secret society that hunts demons and deals with magic and it's really really good. I love this one. That was probably my favorite book of the month at that point and I definitely re recommend it. It's a great YA fantasy that I want more of. The next book I got ended up being one of my new favorite books of all times, no doubt, and that is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. So this basically follows a woman named Nora who is feeling like she's done with life. She doesn't feel like she has a place in the world anymore. She feels alone, like she doesn't really have anyone. She feels like she has so many regrets in her life. And she tries to take her own life. And then she ends up in the Midnight Library where she meets an old librarian that she knew in school. And she had a really good, good relationship with her. And there she gets introduced to a world of books, a library of books. And all of these books have different vibes that she could have lived or can try to live and like what would happen if I did that instead of that and what would happen if I never did that and she gets to like jump basically into these books and try out all the different lives and Nora discovers that the perfect life doesn't exist and you can't really control everything that happens in your life and I just thought it was very very important and very very powerful read and 
I loved it so much. I definitely recommend it. Five out of five stars. One of my new favorite books of all times. The next two books I got is the book two and book three in a series and that is The Vanishing Stair and The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. And since this is a series and this is book two and three, I'm not going to go in depth in, in case you haven't read it, but the series, the Julie DV series, basically follows Stevie who goes to this boarding school in Vermont called Ellen Ellingham Academy and in this academy, in this school, there has been a kidnapping and murder that's very well known of in the entire world basically in the past and you follow two timelines in these books so you follow one where that actually happened and then trying to solve it and everything and it was never solved then the present where Stevie goes to school and she's really into crime, she wants to study it, she wants to work with it and she tries to solve this crime with some help with her friends and bad things start to happen in the present too and Stevie tries to figure it out and it's very very good, a very good mystery in my opinion and definitely like a good mystery to start with I haven't read a lot of mysteries and I think this was a perfect start a pretty like light mystery I would say so I definitely recommend it if you want a good mystery series with a boarding school setting. The next book I got is King and the Dragonflies by Kagan Callender. And this is about a boy who lost his brother very unexpectedly. And you get to follow him as he copes with it, how he handles it. And he believes that his brother has turned into a dragonfly and he can talk to him, he communicate and it's really, really beautiful. I loved it. It's a pretty short book, but it's a great story about dealing with loss and also finding back to old friendship, family dynamics in when something like this happens. And I think it was a very good read, an important read, and I definitely recommend it. The next book is Flipped by Vendelin van Dranen, which is such a cute story between a guy and a girl from a very young age up until they're in high school. And there was a movie about it and the movie's beautiful and the book was also beautiful and I almost cried in the end. I think I cried in the movie actually, it's been a while since I've seen it, but it's such a cute story. It's basically a story about these two kids that grow, grow up in this small town and this girl has a huge crush on this guy and the guy isn't interested at all. He thinks that she's a pain and everyone kind of thinks she's weird and you know, she doesn't really have any friends and then they grow up and a thing starts to happen and yeah, it's just really cute and I recommend it. It's a very short book, so cute and beautiful, I would say. <laughs> Highly recommend if you're looking for a cute summery read, maybe. The next book is the third book in a series that I loved. This series was probably the um, one of the best books in 2020 that I've read. And this is third book and that is Covet by Tracy Wolf. So the first book is called Crave and the second call is called Crush. And I haven't read this yet, but I'm planning on doing it soon. And in this series, we follow a girl who moves to Alaska. I think because she lost her parents, she moves to Alaska where her uncle lives and he runs a boarding school in Alaska. And so she gets to live there and go to school there. She also has a cousin that goes to school there and she gets to live with her in a dorm room, I guess. And she discovers that it's just not a ordinary school and that she's not ordinary and that her cousin isn't ordinary and all of the other kids that go there is not ordinary. And we follow a very, very cool and adventurous story about a lot of different creatures. <laughs> very different creatures and it's very, very good. We also have sort of a love triangle and I really enjoy it. It's fun. I feel like it has some humor in it too. I mean, some of the chapters, the chapter's title is very, very funny. And yeah, I just have a little bit of humor in it, which I really, really enjoy and appreciate. So I can't wait to finally get to the third book. The next book I got is The Ravens by Kath Morgan and Danielle Page. And I don't know a lot about this. I know that I love the cover and I know it has great reviews, but I don't know a lot about it. it might have something to do with witches and Kevin. I'm, I don't know at all, I'm sorry, but I like that. I like to not know too much about the book before I go into it so that you don't set too high expectations. So I'm trying not to read too much about it and not read too many reviews and stuff because I want to form and make my own opinions and yeah, but I'm excited to read it. I, I really am. And I love the cover too. The next book is He Forgot to Say Goodbye by Benjamin Ellery Science. 
I'm sorry, I have such a hard time pronouncing that name, but I'm so sorry. But he has um, two other books that I've read that I really, really enjoyed, so I know that I liked his other books. So I picked up this one and I really, really enjoyed it. In this one, we follow Ramiro and Jake, who have one thing in common, and that's basically that the absence of their fathers. Um, other than that, they don't have a lot in common. Jake lives in a rich family and Ramiro doesn't and they live in different parts of town and they come from different social status and backgrounds but they have this connection and that is the absence of their fathers. It has a lot of important topics like the fact that Jake doesn't at all agree with the political, political beliefs that his mom and stepdad has and how he copes with that you know while living with them. They disagree on everything basically and it's interesting to follow that and that Amiro struggles with feeling like he belongs like is he Mexican enough is he American enough he really struggles with the feeling of belonging he kind of feels like he doesn't really belong anywhere and we also get to follow with Amiro's brothers who brother who struggles with drugs and I really enjoyed it I want to read more of his books I know he has a book called last night I sang to the monsters that I really want to pick up but yeah really really good and important read I really really like this author so much and I definitely recommend it but I want to put a trigger warning for abuse and drugs mainly so be aware of that and the last book I'm gonna talk about that I got is The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix so I have heard a lot of good things about this one so I wanted to pick it up also I love the cover the black and the um, orange together so pretty but this kind of gives me desperate housewife vibes which I haven't watched the whole show I've just watched a bit of it but it gives me those vibes like a quite small cute town where the groups of women have a they start a book club together where they talk about true, true crime book because that's what they really enjoy and weird stuff starts to happen like I haven't finished it yet I'm on page 151 so I don't know what's gonna happen but it's very weird but I'm liking it. Weird things starts to happen and it's really good. I can't say too much because I haven't finished it but I'm liking it so far. But yes that was it for my book haul and I know that I've talked already about these books in vlogs and stuff so you may already have heard a lot about them but yeah I hope you enjoy the video and if you have read any of these let me know or if you want also to read some of these let me know and yeah, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!